boy, oh boy, have I done well today. I've made all the beds, well, changed all the sheets. I've cleaned the kitchen. I've cleaned in here. I haven't changed the throws on the sofa, but I think I'm going to do that another day. Because there's a chance the, the, the um, lawn is still wet and they'll muck it up again. So what I'm going to do next is take them out. No, I'm going to hoover, take them out, go uptown, and get back. I'll see you later. Yummy! Do you love your dad? <laughs> Good girl. Clean your nose and eye when you have a wash later, won't you? I'll show you how I'm getting on my baby blanket. I'm getting on well. I think tonight, um, whatever I do tonight, that will be it. So it's just about the same length as it is wide now. <laughs> Have I said that right? It's nearly got the same length and width. It's pretty, isn't it? I hope you can't hear James in the kitchen swearing at Kim. He's washing up and she always gets in his way. Yeah, so I think, because the party's on Wednesday, it'll be done tonight, definitely. And I can start knitting my cardigan again, my pink bunny cardigan. <laughs> right, so James is washing up. Uh. <laughs> Does anybody else... When they're talking about bikes, what do you call a bike, James? Push bike. Does anyone else say push bike? He says push bike instead of just bike. I've got a friend who says tuna fish instead of just tuna. Why do you say push bike, James? I don't know. I think it's because I'm old. Mm. He's just had a new bag arrived. He's got a new bag. Weird stuff that's accumulated down the end. He's just had this, and what do you say this is called? IFAC. An IFAC. People will know what IFAC is. Oh, I don't know what an IFAC is. <laughs> so, apparently, it's step. What's it stand for again? Individual first aid kit. First aid kit. People know. It hasn't even got that written on it, James, on the description. No, that's just a bag, but that's what I'm going to turn it into. IFAC. Has anyone heard of an IFAC? Of course they have. I haven't, and I used to be in the medical field. But we didn't used to go out. You look like... Oh, now you've turned round, I can see. But you look like you have any trousers on from the back. I have. Yeah. Oh, he, guess what? He's ever so excited, aren't you? What about? About where we're going at the end of March. Oh, the yarn thing? Yeah. Is it yarn? I say wool, but people say yarn. He's coming with me, aren't you, Jamesy? Yes. yes. Come say hello. You haven't no. said hello this so far in March. No. He's washing up with his friend Kim. Who's here? You see it? There's all his stuff still on the top of the cupboard. That's where it goes. No, it doesn't. It goes in the cupboard, but never mind. So write down in the comments below, because I said that no one will have ever heard of an IFAC before. They will. They won't. I'll tell you who'll know about that. Nerds. Like you. Oh, yeah. Well, I've had enough. I haven't even made the sandwiches tonight. I am really, really, really going to regret that in the morning. I know I am, but I just haven't got it in me anymore. Last night, or shall I say, I was still awake at half past three this morning. 
couldn't get to sleep. Lizzie came in as well because she couldn't get to sleep, which is really, really unusual. She didn't come in at half past three. Don't get, you know, worried. She, It was around midnight that she came in. She just couldn't drop off. I've actually seen quite a few people on Instagram say they couldn't sleep either. So maybe there was something in the air last night. Cool, I'm going to regret not doing those sandwiches tomorrow. So I raced up to the post office to get there before dinner time, which I did. I still haven't processed my parcels. It was chocker block in there and I could see they already had quite a few things in the little office room. But I'm guessing, aren't I? I don't know whether they'd already sorted those out, but... Yeah, I haven't had an email yet to say that they've processed my stuff. But I did see, who did I see said that drop and go was down this afternoon? I don't know whether that would affect things, but... Oh well, I've, they are at the post office, all my lambs. Oh, they're ever so cute. I think... I don't want to offend any of the other animals, but I think that the spring lambs are my favourite out of all of the teddy bear clubs that I've done so far. I just love them. They're ever so sweet, tiny little girls. So after I went to the post office, I went to the fabric shop and I've bought plenty of bag lining so I'll be able to start putting my bags together tomorrow. Then I went to Sainsbury's. I bought a really nice loaf of bread. I'm going to have some more of that in a minute actually. And I've made a cottage pie for tea, which everybody's gobbled up. James's is sitting there ready for him to heat up when he gets back. I know he said from college, but he's not at college, he's at the gym. I'm going to go and finish that blanket off now. I'm really looking forward to getting knitting again on my, my pink cardigan. I've got a lot of enthusiasm for that at the minute. I'm going to make lots of bunnies over the next couple of weeks for my shop big ones big ones small ones some as big as your head well i don't know if they'll be that big maybe if you stood them on my shoulders they might be as big as my head because i'm planning on making some quite big ones i'm really looking forward to that i've got plenty of knicker elastics so i'll be able to make some nice knickers for them i've got bloomers in my mind i'm going to Make some bloomers, like frilly bloomers for the bunnies. That'll be nice. <sighs> oh, I can't be bothered. I can't even be bothered to go downstairs. So I had a maximum of three hours sleep last night. And I thought to myself, right, I'm going to try and have a little nap this afternoon. But I got back um here and then i had some more jobs to do and i just got myself settled just as lizzie knocked on the door to come home from school so it just didn't happen so now i'm worried that i might be what people call overtired do you remember like when babies were little people would say oh they're overtired the cross the miserable lady at the post office wasn't on duty today so Not that mad because I didn't have anything to do with them today. I just I did drop and go. I did. I dropped and I went. There was a girl in town shouting, trying to get people to buy her some stuff to put in her vape. Cause she didn't have any ID. I didn't offer. I just put my head down and kept walking. What else has happened today? Um, I dyed my hair. I've changed all the sheets today, so I've got to do that tomorrow. So I'm way ahead already for tomorrow so I'll be able to have a really good day of um, making hope you could hear me then I've had my hand over the microphone the whole time I can't be bothered I can't be bothered I'm glad Lizzie is being paid to make the cups of teas at the moment because this would be a dry old house tonight if she wasn't I remember when I, um, when Lizzie was a baby, 
I used to bring her up to bed and feed her and then I'd just sit here because I couldn't be bothered to go back down again. I'd put her in her cot and I'd think, oh, I can't be bothered. I'd just sit here. But I do want to get that blanket done. Tomorrow I'm having a big old sewing day. Wednesday I'll be having a good old sewing day as well. But I've also got to make a cake and I've got to make some ginger biscuits ready for the baby shower. Because I've offered to make some of those. I don't know if it is a full blown baby shower. I've only been to two in the past. Do you find them weird? I do. I think it's because there's no alcohol and you can't really get light in the atmosphere. Right, this is enough. This is enough. I'm going to take the dogs for a walk as well tomorrow. I'm going to get that done first. But if I get it done too early, they sit there looking really miserable for the rest of the day. Like they think, oh, well, that's that then. But then James can take them again when he gets back from work. Mm. Oh, do I really need to worry about that? No, I don't. Right, I'm going to go and have a special favourite and a bit of that nice bread. I'll see you all in the morning. I hope you've all had a nice day. I have, apart from being tired and I've been busy, but I don't mind busy days. Right, see you tomorrow.